Hey YouTube, here Twig here, bringing you guys a little video story time of mine. Today I'm going to be telling you guys about my first Yu-Gi-Oh! regional experience. I've been playing the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! for a long while now, but I never really, you know, went onto a competitive scene for the game as a whole. Uh, for most of my years I just involved, you know, going to locals, uh, trading online, building up collections, playing with friends and that such. But, um, Girlfriend surprisingly actually convinced me to go to the closest uh, regional that was taking place by where I live, the Columbus, Ohio regional uh, that just finished uh, this weekend. It was actually a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of people from my locals actually ended up going there. It was a 350 person local, I mean local event, uh, regional event with uh, nine rounds in total. Uh, played Pendulum Magicians. I thought it was the deck I knew the most. It's the one I always uh, mention that I play when I uh, do my random pack openings for prize packs at locals. So it was the thing I was the most familiar with and what I decided to go with um, for the game. Uh, just a quick glance through the deck. It's pretty uh, standard. It's the Pendulum uh, build with um, the Supreme Kings. I didn't really have the Mythical Beasts to play that version. I didn't have the, um, basically, what was it? The I didn't really want to do the FTK version either. I didn't want to be that kind of player. But I just went with the pure, as pure as I can get. And I actually had a lot of fun. In the first match, I did a mirror match, surprisingly, against uh, Pendulum Magicians. The only difference was the guy had the Mythical Beasts in his deck. So I think that's a little more powerful, but... If you have the Mythical Beasts, uh, run them. Uh, but other than that, uh, basically uh, what happened was we went to three games. I uh, actually misplayed in the first game where he um, pendulum called and I still tried to target it with Igneister like an idiot. But I uh, got game two. Game three was really close. But that was my uh, first loss, first game uh, there. But after that, I uh, came back and actually won against my Game 2 match, which was Infernoids. A uh, really good game matchup. We ended up going to Game 3 for that as well. And I'm just sifting through my deck. So there's just like, you know, um, nothing off the screen, uh, basically, while I talk. Uh, game 3, I actually lost to True Dracos. That was the one matchup I was the most uh, worried about throughout the whole uh, tournament. And I only played them once, actually, surprisingly, throughout the whole thing. But um, did my best. Actually had a couple uh, Zafion plays game two. But it just wasn't enough. And the guy ended up uh, beating me uh, that round. Game four, I played Trick Stars. The guy didn't really, I think, know the deck too well. Because um, just used Ghost Ogre in the wrong spots. Game five, I played against uh, Heralds. And won that. As well so I was actually very happy with my record as a whole uh, did much better than I thought I definitely had jitters in the beginning which I think is what accounted to my first game loss but also you know I think affected the overall uh, well-being of my score uh, at the regionals uh, in a whole after that I played uh, magical musketeers um, and basically just played around that deck as best as I could uh, this is side deck now. I tried siding as best as I could as well. Never went into Reapers any of the times during the games. Um, Zafion, like I said, during True Draco. This card came up a lot uh, with a bunch of different decks. I never went into Wavering Eyes or D Barrier, I think once. And I always sided in Judgment because it was always good. But um, my biggest uh, thing was against playing against Magical Musketeers. Uh, was just basically um, trying to play around, you know, his whole columns, and I just overpowered him from there. And then the game after that, um, played one more Trickstar game and ended up losing there. And then the last couple uh, sort of followed the same trend, basically, with um, one good, one bad. And it ended there. Uh, I didn't get top 48, which I think is the number that my other friends from the locals were saying was the cutoff for invites. Um, but other than that, it was a lot of fun. I went and basically thought I did a lot better than I thought um, I could for a regional event. It made me feel good as a player as a whole. But other than that, uh, I got some pretty good trades. So I thought I'd show uh, those as well. Went with the regionals, originally thinking I would just mostly do trades, but was happy to see um, that I played well as well. 
And as for vendors, there were three vendors. Um, didn't really pick up too many singles because they didn't really have anything I was looking for. Uh, for all the kind of deck profiles I do, I always look for the smaller stuff. I did pick up some sleeves. I'm a big fan of the Hypermat uh, mini sleeves, and my locals don't actually carry these sleeves as often. So, And I love just the feel of these. They're not matted, but they have a great, you know, um, they're very durable, and they make the card look great when they're in them. So I picked up a couple of sleeves of that. Not sure what I'm going to put them on yet, but definitely glad I picked up a red and blue of those. But anyways, onwards to the trades of what I got. The first card, obviously, Vadriana. This card actually shot up in price after Dragoon Thieves got announced some support. So happy to at least have gotten one. Some other people had them too. But a lot of people were very finicky with their trades, which I actually thought I did better than I would for what I brought to trade with as well. But very happy with the results. I got uh, Madrats. I'm actually hoping to bring you guys a, a Noble Knight deck profile very soon. But picked up Madrat and I also had it here. Caliburn. I think I need a couple more of the swords, which will be easy pickups. Madrat was the last monster I needed, obviously, for the deck. Uh, a couple smaller trades like um, these. I'm sifting through the whole pile. The Gatling. I just need another one for uh, Barrel Load Dragon deck. I actually, first trades I picked up there were a playset of Rainbow Bridge, which I think is awesome. You know, people are always a fan of the Crystal Beasts, so cool to hold on to. Uh, actually, two Red Eyes Baby Dragon as well, I thought. Didn't know it popped up so much in price, but, you know, trade some should all windows for them, so pretty good there. Tried getting a Galaxy Soldier uh, playset from a guy, but he only had or wanted to offer the one, so no complaints there. Uh, another guy had some wind-up support, which I am looking forward to the wind-up um, link support that we're going to get. So picked up as much as I could from him. Only had the one factory, so still need to get a couple more of those. But uh, for some of the funnier uh, grabs, a lot of Claras. People were just really giving these away for low prices, which I couldn't pass up. I think it's an adorable card. And just to hold on to, you know, they took small things from my binder for them. And my friend Anthony actually asked me to pick him up uh, some cyber stuff. The only thing I could really find him was Xcode Tacos. So I hope he's really happy with the results of this card that I got him. I don't think he needs six, but people were just pouring those out too for cheap prices. So I thought, you know what, uh, bulk pickup of a card, why not? Those two cards. Uh, girlfriend picked me up uh, this as well for Dragoonities. Which is cool. I already had the Gay Derg, so didn't need anything else. A couple secrets that I still needed for my Crystal Beast deck to fully hollow it out as well. Um, my girlfriend Marissa actually dropped earlier from the tournament, but she did the Winamat tournament and actually pulled a Gamma Seal from her entry pack of Dimension of Chaos, which I thought was quite funny. Uh, no hollow from that pack, but getting this is just as good. I think it might actually be more expensive than the hollows in the pack. And a couple smaller trades I got, um, Lifestream, Kama. I actually picked up an Ultimate Rare Vayu, which I thought was cool. Always picking up Ultimate Rares is a plus, in my opinion. And when you start off at the tournament, you were given the um, entry packs. Um, my girlfriend pulled the Secret Rare Mech Knight, the purple one. I pulled uh, Indigo and Battle Lord. There can only be one. Uh, curious. And then my only non-Super Pool was the Mech Knight Spectrum Supreme. So, the entry pools were kind of mediocre compared to a lot of people at my locals, but no complaints overall in general. It was a lot of fun. Would definitely do it again. Um... Other than that, I don't know when the next one's going to be, how close it's going to be, but it was basically just a two and a half hour drive. So I thought, you know, why not? Definitely a lot of fun. And if you were ever, you know, curious about whether you want to go to a regionals or not, just to try it out, I'm definitely happy with the results of this one. You know, uh, they give the Yu-Gi-Oh players in the community a bad name, but a lot of the players at this one were really friendly, really nice, you know. Uh, upbeat is a good word for it and they were just you know happy players to be there that's what i'd say for a good majority of the ones at least the ones i met as a whole so if you're ever nervous about that kind of thing don't be you're going in um, and i think they're just as nervous as you are with this whole thing but definitely something to look forward to i hope you all like this little discussion of mine also don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and until next time kira twig out